talking home hacks now and with me um, some brilliant tips is award-winning lifestyle vlogger Vicky Fisarius. I started honestmum.com in 2010. Yeah, it was an accidental business. Um, I was the TV director first. She is the author of Mum Boss and she says she now has a good work-life balance with her job as the blogger Honest Mum. So let me show you it. So this is Mum Boss, the Honest Mum's guide to surviving and thriving at work and at home. So I've got an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. Now, I, yes, they can be stressful, but I am sick of the school run. I'm really looking forward to relaxing more. We're teaching children about protecting our planet. We need to start, we can't bury our heads. No, what do you think our kids expect the future to look like? You know, what's going on is, is challenging. Let's just all accept that we've got different opinions, respect one another's different parenting styles, because that's really what my ethos is. All you need is a raisin, pop the raisin in, and it revives the bubbles. So, no issue. My name is Alexander. I'm nice to meet you, my friend. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Yeah, what did you learn about it, Oliver? Because it is confusing so, for adults as well. Yeah, so at the start, I didn't really know much about Brexit and I didn't really know what was going on. I don't need to introduce these guys, but I'm here with Westlife. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. So wonderful to meet you. I loved the movie. It's um, very funny. You look like you could have been in the movie. I know. I would have liked to have been an extra. Amazing lady all around. Stop right now. Thank you very much. I can't stop. the imposter syndrome. It makes you feel like a fake when you have no reason to, and although not exclusive to the female gender, it's more common in women than men. MG have asked me to check out their electric car, the MG ZS EV. Love this car. I just want this car. What's great about this car is it runs on petrol, not diesel, so it's better for the environment and it's better for your wallet too. I think when it comes to whether boys or girls should cry, you know, it's, it's damaging not to release emotion, isn't it? I empathise. She's 14. Tweens are very conscious of, of what their parents are doing. We can still travel with children. It doesn't have to be expensive. We just came back from Devon recently and with the kids. And it's, it is really magical times. I often look at things and say, these are the times of my life.